It's a nice try. Xfera had a good read that there might be just a cut of audio. Paint shows okay. to try to delay. Should be able to still finish oh it. Oh, the C's a little bit late. Oh, he's Not gone. Good to get the kill. And he gets eaten. The well, esports seem a little bit too strong right now. The snake fight will get tossed down just to you know, kind of weaken them a little bit, but it's not going to be enough. Tucci tries to rush right in, gets a little bit of a right click, but it's not still enough. Three targets left, and Flips is down at 10 HP. He swings, but Polvi just tags him down a quad for this guy in the pistol Three round. Seconds left. Tosses out a bit of a dark cover just to block off any potential access routes from Global Esports. Meanwhile, the rest of the squad actually starts to push it through and see. Flips takes the Polvi. first point of contact. Polvi with a showstopper now, but nobody's on site, so it doesn't quite connect, and x is looking for more targets to hit. There's 10 seconds left on the timer now, and Lightning Fast has the plant around the stairs, but oh, Jemkin with the wall bang manages to take him down in time. All of a sudden, it's a little bit more tricky for Russ and Polvi to stick the spike. Uh, it doesn't Polvi have time. tries, but no, it's just too hot. The landing zone, he's going to have to back off. Out. It's the fact that it's a wall bank, something that you don't quite expect that often. You know it's coming, but Ooh. you don't really expect it to hit. This time, though, just all out in towards a rubble. You've got the entire squad of Global Esports, and Polby finds the first pick. Elmimore continues to stay tucked away behind a lot of these smokes, and he might just be able to catch a sneaky one up against Global Esports as soon as this smoke dissipates. They're marking him, though. Blaze King, very aware. Ah, they know. They know, man. Xfera and Elmimor, they both play love to play that spot. And they all yeah, they've gotten the spike down now. They're marking all the exits. You even have <laughs> Russ looking for the final player. Good kill, but at the same time, the nightfall. Now it's just a bit of a fake as they head on over to the B site. It's completely open except for Heaven, but they have those exits marked as well. 2G goes down to a bit of a trade. Now Jemkin, once they are doing such a good job with the cover and fire movement. Polvi on the off angle now. Xfero comes in to check. Ooh, that's the head gone. Oh, Flips man. with the stinger actually does a bit of damage. Benkai, though, has the angle from the back, and it's going to be Blaze King on the side of B. No choice but to turn back. Yeah, Xfero spots him coming deep as well, so you have to know that he's here. He's actually in a spot, too, so you have to be oh, ready for it. And Jemkin fast. gets picked out. Just focus on the aim, says Coach Spin, and he does exactly that. Elmi Moore, though, will be able to push up front from Waterfall, unless not quite marked. Russ will be able to come back in to find that a little bit of a trade. Xfero still marking the angles with an operator. The Killjoy but moves the up front now. Benkai watching out from Waterfall. Just eliminating a couple more angles, and it's a little bit more doable for RRQ in this moment, but Flip's not quite being able to land the shot. Xfero swapped over onto the Vandal. Will be able to play off of his teammates. Studied a lot of the tape from RRQ, the tendencies to actually hide behind the enemy toxic screens, things like that. Make sure there's always a crossfire, Ooh. but this paranoia is good. Sets up Elmimore. And Flip's coming in to help out as well, but oh. look at the repeaks from Global Esports. B and B, Benkai and Blaze King come in to eliminate no threats. No. <laughs> it's going to be down to Xfero, but even the operator gets removed the rest of the round. So Global Esports, the attacking looks a lot more convincing. Obviously still a long way to go here on Lotus. Holy. So even though Pillar might not want to retake, but they're only taking it from Waterfall and Heaven area. And Link. The Prowler goes in to check. They start to swing out. Xfero fires off the shot. 2GE now chiming in. But Global Esports still managing to hold. Lightning fast, trying to lurk and peek out. Oh, there's a bit of a check oh. from Xfero, but he gets burned by the Nano Swarm. 2G finds his own up against Nap a little. We're just investing the Showstopper really early on, though. Yeah, a bit of a miss on that blast pack. Slows it down, and there's the, from the Shadows back up as well. I mean, Whoa. this site is all flooded, and it's defended by Elmimor and crew. They're just watching everything. Now swinging up against Benkai, who is completely overwhelmed. The Showstopper as well, RRQ. Instead. Dark cover just to block out the exits, and look waiting at the for the spike plant. They're waiting for that lurk as well. They know that the only thing that oh, RQ can do is go for that lurk. they wait for Will? Benkai is watching the exits. He picks up a quick double. 2G now tries to take him down. Russ goes back in for the trade. Xfero now. The lurk taking a little bit far too long. The whole trio of Global Esports peeks out at the same time. RDP lands right no. onto the first set. 15 seconds left. That's going to take a little bit off the clock. Benkai oh, trying to stall as left. long as he possibly can, but unfortunately not quite enough. Big kill from 2G. Great TP Ooh. up on top. There. Couple of wall banks trying to go through, but unfortunately... Oh, what? I hit the earlier <laughs> he just one. slices aim all to the left. Yeah. That's how he checks. Okay.
RQ though, still relatively healthy. They've got four guns in this fight. Dark cover sets up, and 2G stays completely shrouded and high and back. Blaze King continuing to try to fire through, but unfortunately the timer is ticking and he's running out. Oh. RQ, oh, they're just going in for a bit of a gamble now into the A site because of that fact, Will. Still though, winning on some of these firefights. But B is clear. Lightning Fast doesn't have the paranoia any longer. So V is clear. They will be able to transition over, get the spike down. Xfero with the timing will be able to catch a lot of these players. Ben Kai, the first to fall. Next is going to be Russ. Finishes it off. 100 rounds still to go. It's the last belt as well. So now he's going to be a little bit more careful of it. Oh, makes use of Russ's haunt. Goes in for the clear wall bank shot. The pink missed. It's going to be down to Xfero. 5 HP. His team's completely gone. And so is Xfero. I mean, and the lockdown at the ready as well. Now Showstopper on the other side, so RQ, they have to still stop this way early. Whoa! Oh my gosh, right as the paranoia hits, it's a good reaction. Goes back in for a little bit more, just a little bit of greed, and it's not too good. Showstopper oh. comes out from Polvi, and RQ shut around that smoke and the pillar. He's got to be very careful with his movements. Does it oh. not have the mobility with that Odin? Swaps over onto the Vandal now, so being able to push in along with the squad, what? but he doesn't even need it. Russ tries to stick the defuse. The timer is still ticking away, and Flips is trying to play along with the time. The snake bite lands. So even though Blaze King drops, Paranoia just to flush him back. Hops over just in time. Blaze King holding Baby Door at the ready. So many angles being marked and covered by Global Esports. I mean, they, they have to purely do it through frags, right? And it can only be b site and Global Esports is fairly aware of this because of the oh. control they have across the entire left. map. I mean, Mountain Round 18 as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a cold hard save. You know, no biggie. The door oh, is open. Know, though. Oh, the This door. is a spot that Elmimor is very comfortable with, so he flushes him out. The Prowler, the shot from Poli and Rust to fire back, though. It's multi-layered. It's not just one guy, GE. They don't play simple Valorant. Ooh, sidestep with the Prowler out. Now swing. Huge <laughs> movement. Oh, x can't quite catch up. Down to the last two. Oh, and you saw one as well on C-Mount. Very potentially map point for Global Esports now. Two GE wanting to take matters into the player round tree, but then you gotta, you gotta be prepared for this entire squad. I don't think you wanna, oh, oh invest I mean, Vipers, but yet, yeah, but maybe now. Yeah, lockdown's gone, Odin's oh. gone. Sure, Odin gets picked up, but no lockdown. Welcome to my world, Ben Kais. Oh, no, it's Polby who's firing no, off. No, he walks into it. He the walks bait in. into it. I mean, this is just well played by GE. Right? So we'll see if Arky can take this to OT. They've never held the lead in this oh, map. Full set play into C. Just sending it down. Lightning fast, able to do a bit of damage. Elmi more trades right back. Jeff gets, Jeff gets in. already inside. A bit of shroud set from 2GE, but he's done it one too many times. Russ is aware. Jemkin trying to get the timing on the swing, waiting for his teammates to arrive at the same time. But Blaze King now sets up the Viper's Pit. He can no longer push up front. Russ peeks out at the right time as Jenkins tries to fall back. That's going to be the third kill for Russ. Oh, then he's going to have to fight his way out of this entire squad. I mean, you got five the swings to kill all these guys. the crouch. Russ with the quad kill to close out the map. Global Esports, what an improvement. You've got a 4v5 go. or 5v4. Yeah, not expanding the dash Five just yet it. either. Now he goes in for it because he's looking for the clear headshot, but Benkai strikes when the iron is hot. Look at this, Global Esports flooding the site now. 2GE will be able to fight back with his classic. Benkai repositioning up back onto his they top. Oh no! V, yes, is the one who is sneaking up behind Yellow. Jemkin still has a lot of work cut out for him, and only six rounds in the chamber. It's going to be tough for him. Uh because he doesn't quite know that position. Well, it is still just a pistol, but I am pretty excited because Global Esports could come up with a big win, oh, but what just happened? Flips, Elmi Moore, the classics. It's happening again. You know, I just want to let the desk know, if you thought that GE was going to look just as strong and buy more guns off it, oh, of course it's going to be RQ with more pistol kills. It's not even the sheriffs, it's just all flat. What? what? <laughs> by one. But you are absolutely right. So because they do get to keep their economy going for a little bit more, and Jemkin now with the operator swings out. We'll be able to punch right through. 
Tries to go in for the vertical flake, but not quite happening just yet. Russ pushing up front along with the Mosh Pit too, able to keep one of the RQ players trapped. Yeah, trusting in that op a little bit too much for RQ. Pushes out, a bit of an overheat. You're gonna oh. hear all this info though. Okay. Might be able to set up a bit of a flank. Catches lightning fast. You have the numbers advantage. No util on the side of Global Esports as well. RQ is in a very good spot. Has the angle. Russ tries to take the initiative against them, but not quite able to deal with the operator. Polvi has no choice but to shoot his way out of this one. Goes in for a spray transfer. Runs out of ammo. No. Drops back down. Very easily heard. Jemkin trying to play it patient and safe. Oh, but what a flick. Back on towards the head. 2G has to clutch this out. This round, RQ had the advantage, Holy! but Polvi sneaks up the top of the window. I can see you! Sustains a bit of damage. That operator just still posted up. The rest of the team from RQ now, unfortunately, not quite able to deal against this because Global Esports has already taken up so much space. The Thresh will connect. Flips wants to capitalize on his kill. Yeah, Dizzy but they're watching sent for out, it. They're watching from Hut, and it's just such a good angle. The cover from Lightning Fast. You even have the Viper's Pit up. Although there are some kills on the board now, Jemkin marking some of these angles. Lightning fast with what an incredible swing. The pit's still up and Blaze King slipping in and out of it. Benkai watching up from the back now. A bit of a burst, but not quite connecting the shot. Still though, timer running out. How do you deal with this Viper's pit? Blaze King has snake bites for days. Yep, Pass the last one now. out. He's trying to creep in. The Whoa. reload years it! <laughs> the reload! No time though. But no time. Uh this is a position Flips has held during kickoff. GE surely is aware of it. Oh. You will not kill my ally. Got that res. And we've been seeing this a lot. It's just too risky of a position though, right? Better than invest that lockdown in, in another round. Grows back around and he will be able to find an spike left. plant. Not quite yet going through because of that Hunter's Fury. Now the lockdown spike gets planted. deployed. Global Esports tries to back out. Lightning fast. We'll have no choice but to drop. You Russ trying to hold it up from around yellow. Not quite expecting Russ. his runner to be pushed up that much front. 2GE now coming back out from the other side. It's Russ keeping things alive. Nice. For he still have a siege wall as well. This is it. So there you go. It blocks off right outside of the pit. I mean, it's a good setup here for GE. Russ gets to walk in. Kind of more or less for free. I, 2GE is still hovering up around rafters, but the spike is down now. And there is a lot of heat breathing down the back of Jemkin. He will be able to turn around and feel it. He's trying to come back in. Yeah, I mean, that lurk. Oh, man. It ruins everything. Jemkin has to clear okay. it. Even then, though, 1v3. He's got to go for the save again. I mean, it's a correct decision, but it's, it's the worst correct decision every round so far. Three rounds in a row. Wow. Three. He's still hot for the duels, though. Last Able to flick back. Standing. There's the fourth. Oh, my goodness. I mean, listen, sure, get your ace, man, because you're going to need a consolation prize after this. Oh. Can't even finish it, obviously. But unfortunately, it's not something that converts into a round win. And if that the round wins are something that RQ needs desperately. Flips able to play off of the operator. 2GE now showing their backs. They're making sure okay. that they have mid covered from various angles. Nice. Big pick on the A flank as well. I mean, the positioning this round, not exposing too much, not going up to our front. <laughs> Off shot onto the window, barrel spotted. It's a team ace, it's a flawless win. It's slow, at least for the time being. RQ has game plans to work against this garage push. Oh, this Jeff is a trap. Up on top. The Mosh, the Dizzy, everything, it's all tossed in. Elmi Moore firing shots through the toxic screen, catching Global Esports. Oh, this was a nasty setup from RQ. Why, it's just overall, the same, everything was so good. And then the high low with the Blade Storm. Blaze managing to lurk through mid, though, will be able to look for a bit more damage. Here's the footsteps at the last second turns around. But look at the shots just firing it through. Always going to be the trouble. This time they're able to get rid of the okay. wall pretty early, but at the end of the day, GE. Oh, Ben. GE just knows how to work around it. They know they need to draw RRQ out. And with the angles, lightning fast, Russ 
managing to take down so many players. It's all down to 2GE. He tries to swing around, but Blaze King descends upon him. Yeah, Ark, you know, is cutting audio is the only option. Uh oh. But he okay. gets spotted again. He doesn't know that, but he is spotted. So GE's very well aware of this. Oh. They've already filled the site. And that's just lightning fast, making the quick reactions. Polvi firing another shot off from screens. Spotted out, flips off the top. Polvi with the final shot, too. RQ just waiting for a bit oh, of a peek. I like that he doesn't dash out, right? I mean, I don't know about going back in, but he'll uh -oh. find one. Now they know it's the outlaw. They have no choice but to swing out. Russ is here. Global Esports, this is their round. This is their match. Swapped on over to the Sheriff. Doesn't matter if Russ is down. Benkai coming back in. It is now map and match point. Ever since kickoffs, looking a little bit shaky, but ever so slightly improving again and again. Ovi gonna peek out with his teammate, has that cover, so he has the confidence to peek out of the screen as well. Jemkin needs to land his first shot right here. It's all about Jemkin, but the far oh peek God. out. Spots him all over the place. Lightning fast with the op shot to open things up, and instantly down goes RRQ. Xperl, oh, the only Xperl. one left, and he lands a triple. Tries to swing up to the top, but Polvi, just a little bit too slippery from him. Global Esports picks up their first win in VCT Pacific State.